Yes, I am just a hopeless case. 
you didn't do the Sunday show with me, no. I'd be good with you. Oh, would you? Yeah. That's nice. I know, because I think we make a good radio couple of me and me. We're better than that Mike and Chelsea. Oh, ten times better than They're that. getting leathered. They're crap them, aren't they? Yeah, I think so. You know, I, 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 I couldn't, I couldn't imagine next... him saying to her, uh, you know, I'm going to smash your back doors in and yeah, yeah, we have yeah. some nausea. Yeah, know. they probably would, actually. Probably make a better <laughs> show, wouldn't it? Probably, probably won't be able to do it anyway because both from Stockport. Do you know what I mean? Oh, what's that got to do with it? Do you know when they're in Stockport and all that? Yeah. They don't sound like, oh, I'm coming to the corner, the corner. They say, I've arrived. Do you reckon? Yeah, <laughs> don't you? Not to be heck. Of course they do. I'm a sulfur bird. Why would no, I say No, you're a sulfur right? bird. You're a sulfur bird. But they're from Stockport. That's what they'd say I'm saying. They wouldn't. They would. <laughs> anyway, tell us about the sweats. Yeah, I didn't finish it last no, week. No, you didn't finish it. And a load died. of people have been asking me about have it. They? Yeah, yeah. Oh, at least, okay. at, and that was only my mum. Here's Mrs. W. And my gran. Where's your gran still here? She's still here. Oh. I mean, I'm 72. Come off it, mate. Why are you lying then? Just to make you buzz. I'm an orphan, mate. That, that'd make my, I'm an orphan. That'd make my gran over 100. Oh, yeah, she, she could still be here, couldn't she? She could still be. There's a woman who lives in China. I guess how old she is. 108. No. How old? 172. Bollocks. She is, mate. I'm not having that. She is, mate. I am not having and that. And you know, there's one in Who's Scotland. Who's verified it? Me. And there's one in Scotland. <laughs> right, and she's... Well, un- she got rings round her like the trees. Yeah, and there's one in Scotland and she's 138. And do you know what she puts it down to? What? Eating porridge. And, and not being with men. So if you want to live a long life... Why would I want to live to 100 and odd? She's 138, mate. I don't want to live that long. Her name's Agnes Mac. I'm blind Sparrow. now. I'm blind now, can you imagine what I'd be like? You must be blind because you said I was a seven. Oh, right, sorry about that. Yeah. But why would, you want, why would you want to live till 100 and odd? Your bones are bollocks, yeah. your eyesight's gone, your ears are gone. You're the burden. Exactly. You wheel you out at Christmas. That's it, isn't it? At you're least you get wheeled out at Christmas. I'm on a chicken dink. Oh, bless you. So uh, the, the appeal still stands if you want to invite Williams. I'll bring, I'll bring the vodka. Oh, the wine. No, we're saving that wine. Yeah, we're saving that <coughs> wine, aren't we? You've got your eye on that, haven't you? Of course, you have. Are you mad? Yeah, and somewhere else as well, aren't you, mate? Swing it. <laughs> <laughs> right, right. Come on, let's get on to this, this story. Yeah, I couldn't finish it last week because my phone died. And I wasn't I want very well last week, was I? Anyway. No, you wasn't, was you? No, I wasn't. I'm sorry. That, that wasn't poorliness. It, it was kind of poorly. It was greediness. Greediness, that was, yeah. Like being a, greediness. Being a glutton. Yes. We'll be out next Sunday as well. Um, yeah, I am, yeah. But yes. I'm not having a lot. I've heard all this before. I'm, I'm not having a lot. Uh, I'll, I'll still be a pro and come and do the show. Pro. Oh, look at that. A pro. Just, just rolls off my tongue, doesn't I'll it? I'll still be a pro. And come and do the show. Yeah. Don't mean a prostitute. You're just sure saying you're going to be a pro next week. Can I do week? this story or what? Where are you going? I don't know. I'd um, turn up. Probably Monson. <coughs> Bottle in the back. In the back. Yep, that's the one. I mean, I'm my own one if I turn up. I'm on what? <laughs> I don't think so. But I think, think you meant. Oh, oh, yeah. Well, what do you think? I don't know. Huh? Anything's possible with you. You know, whatever. We're doing this story. I've been waiting ten minutes. All right. Well, you keep interrupting. You do. You do. You do. You do. Right, you do. You do. (laughs) Right, go on then, mate. Right, it's it's called The Twits. But you know I changed it. That's. That's the one. Right. Anyway, this couple called The Twits. That's. Mm Mm-hmm. They they want to make this pie, yeah? Yeah. And and what he does, he he shoots the birds out the trees and then... They went on the eight, didn't they, you said, last week? Well, yes. Well, I don't uh, think it's that. They've got, they got to have trees, haven't they? They have trees on the eight. Do don't, don't have them on precincts. No, they don't have them on precincts. Well, they have some bushes, don't they? But they're not like... I think it's just like grass that's overgrown where they've not You've got... You've got trees in Weast? Um, I don't live in Weast. Where do you live? Langworth? Seedly. 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 Near oh. the park. Oh, 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 I was a posh girl. I come from Seedly. That sounds like a line out of a book. <laughs> yeah, doesn't yeah, it? Doesn't it? Anyway, <coughs> Mr. T, as we'll call him, has got the hairiest beard ever. Personally, I think he's performed a sex act on Mrs. T and then got it stuck all over his kite after rubbing wax on his face for a cheaper method of getting rid of her cat said. It was as wiry as anything, as Mrs. T had never groomed it since puberty and never washed it either. Oh, imagine that whiff. What a pair of ugly mofos they both were. They had double chins, bent teeth... Perhaps a trip to Old Denver would have been good. Neither of the ugly pair smiled, a bit like me and you, Si, if we were married. She carried a stick, making out she was in pain, but the crafty old bitch was just after disability. Mm, bet she didn't get it, though. Why won't she? Because the sanction centre in Salford. Because of what? 70% of the people that go to the sanction centre 
I mean, Salford's so not. Yeah. Sanction him. Well, I don't, I don't know what that means. I've never had to do, do that. Don't you know what a sanction is? No. Right. Sanction is where you stop your dog. You stop your dog. Right. And you, you need why, the why did they stop you? Because you've not gone looking for work? No, they make, they make stupid things up. Horrible bastards. Horrible, horrible. And if you work at the sanction centre, I don't like your ear. I'm going to fill you in. Yes. Anyway, back to the story. She was after disability. She also liked to poke people. That pissed her off. Mainly a twat of her husband, twit of her husband. Oh, yeah, yeah. You've got That's, to grasp that bit, yeah? Yeah, yeah? She also had a glass eye. But being the prankster that she was, she managed to etch japs across it. God, she's crass. And for you thick holes out there, that's another word for gross. Just trying to bring a bit of etiquette to the show. Etiquette? Etiquette. Posh. Mm. You know, from Seedley. Like, like, like. Oh, yeah. She's the next posh, day, okay, her fat, lazy husband was having a frothy beer. He wiped his beard, well, his fanny face, with his sleeve, then wiped that on his pants to say it blended in with the other stains. Well, it wasn't his fault the laundry had been shut for over a week, so he had to wear them over and over. I wouldn't like to test them to see what germs lurk there, would you? Mm. <coughs> he loved knocking one out on a daily basis. Didn't I? Mm. Like myself. <laughs> <laughs> well, Mrs T decided to make a bird pie and sent a fat, lazy fuka of an husband into the garden with his wax to paint on the branches to catch the crows. Right. Anyway, if I was a crow, I'd stay the fuck away. They were uglier than Wurzel ever was. And for all you youngins out there, Wurzel was a scarecrow back in the day. Do you remember him? Of course I remember And he loved Aunt Sally. Oh. Yeah. yeah. Cup of tea and a slice of cake. Set no crows came that day. So you Just know what a cup of tea and a slice of cake? Cup of tea and a slice of cake, Aunt Sally. <laughs> cup of tea and a slice of cake, Aunt Sally. What do you want? Cup of tea and a slice of cake, no, Aunt Sally. Well, I better not have a slice of cake because Corey will say I'm fat, won't he? Hey, what do you? Right, well, we're not having that. No, we the cake. St. Michael's, though. Max's Francis. St. Michael's? It's Max's. Oh, Max right. Max's I'm... cake. It's not St. Michael's brand anymore. It's just Max's. That's what's on the box. St. Michael's. Oh, I don't, I'm not having that. Anyway, can we go back to the story? Because my phone's just gone off again. Oh, yes. Yeah, anyway, no crows came that day. Just four young lads. They climbed the ladder to the highest branches and sat there and lit a joint. When Mr. Twit That's. came back out later, they were stuck fast by the pants. <coughs> and being a secret cannibal and seeing four young lads stick in his tree gave Mr. T an instant twitch. Not in his pants, you filthy people. But he was overjoyed at the thought of stewing them for his pie. The lads oh. were that stoned, they didn't even realise how f- stuck fast they'd become. And as Mr Twit At. started climbing the ladder, he had to act fast. Well, as you stoners know, everything's in slow motion. Is it? I think so. I don't yeah. know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You, you know, like when you have a joint, you get, I, I don't smoke it. But I, don't I, I have done it. I don't know. And have you? Yeah, years ago, I've tried it. Have you? Yeah. You like, took I, it. I don't like it. It's okay. No, but you know when you have it and like yeah. you, you laugh at something and think it's dead funny and yeah. it's clearly not. You yeah. think you're but laughing. Like yeah. <laughs> yeah. And you're laughing and you think it's dead quiet. Yeah. It's not, it's really loud. <coughs> is it? Well mine is. But I think it's quiet well, because you you're mum down, anyway. aren't you? You think oh. I'm a bit loud? No, I think you'd be loud anyway, I just get that impression. That's good. that's that's just another fart that I just had but come on. You're deranged you, you really need to see someone. I do actually. For castration. No, not for Any- castration. Anyway, back to the Stoneheads. No, Stoneheads. The Stoners. Stoneheads. They're stoned in the tree, aren't they? No, yeah. Are you spoiling my story now? I'll send it, go on. Sure. Well, as you Stoners know, everything's in slow motion. They had the idea to undo the strides and climb out of them and then launch themselves through the branches, asses as white as the moon, and ran like folk. The moral of this story, never trust a twit that, that waxes his wife's cat said. That's a good story, that one, that one, mate. And I think on that one... I don't I think, think people get that somehow. Oh, they do. Do you think? Yeah. Mm. I think on that note, there's only one song we can go to. What's that? The first cuts are deepest. Why's that? that? What's that got to do with waxing your cat's head? Because I've got requested it. I've had someone... Who <laughs> <Okay. laughs> just shared the cat's head? No, because you said that he never saved his beard. So the first cut... Oh, no, right. Yeah, 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 yeah. Sorry. No. Sorry. <laughs> Not feeling that one. Seedly beard. Mm. 